is, man. Gosh. Good instinct for that frog, man. <laughs> so, this will be the last and final trip in the Florida installment of videos. Now, we got one big goal for this very last day, and that's to catch a bass on a live golden shiner. Now, I seen the North Florida angler just destroy bass with shiners. I seen hook them in the mouth, tin, and sawgrass bassin. And I'm like, you know what? I'm in Florida. I might as well catch a bass on a live shiner. So that is the goal. Now we will be doing some regular fishing, but while we're fishing, we're gonna let that shiner marinate in that water behind us and hopefully catch us a big old bass. Now let's jump straight into that video. It's a little bit. There might have been something there. Got out. No, they're still there though. Look. Yeah. Like you said, you only get a couple shots. There we go. Perfect. Got three shiners, guys. It's a start. It's a start. Look how dark that water is, but you can still see my face. Still can see it's it. It's really clean, dark water. Clean, dark water. It doesn't look nasty. It's just dark. Yeah. I, I can be somewhat excited, but then, like, once I get it in, I want to celebrate. Because getting it in is a battle itself sometimes. Yeah. You've heard, like, you've the whole time. Yeah. That one. Really good one. That chatterbait. Second chatterbait bass. And a real good bass at that. We got a five plus. I don't think it's quite that big. He's like four. Four? Yeah. He's a little thin. Do you want me to try to land one for you? Okay. Oh, he is skinny. I didn't say skinny. Oh. Nice He's catch, bro. Half. Yep. Good. Still a good fish. Yeah. That is a black bass right there. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be taking my favorite bait, man. <laughs> you want to switch? <laughs> <laughs> you got my favorite bait. <laughs> on the lake. We'll switch on the way back. Exactly. Like next time around, man. I'm gonna figure this bait out. Dude, I let that fish hit it for a long time. Tap, tap. There's not a warm mouth in here that we feast. Probably what it is. I hooked one of those and threw it over the boat once. Too. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, I had him. Yeah, you did. I did. Dang. <laughs> that was a real frog bite right there. That was, man. Gosh. Good instinct for that frog, man. <laughs> I know what you're going to be fishing the rest of this time. <laughs> <laughs> for a good bit back here. <laughs> he destroyed that thing, man. Yeah, he definitely hit it pretty hard. I had him for a good bit, too. Yeah, I know, man. That was really fast. It's so cool how a frog can go through anything. You can throw it to the worst stuff back here. Oh, that's a good one. That's good fish. That is a good fat fish. He's going hard. 
I was like, we should hit this little, we should, somebody should hit this while we go this by. This little spot, yeah. Oh man, he is pulling hard. I guess this color works here. Oh yeah. Healthy one. Nice catch, man. Yeah. Probably about that size when I hit your frog. But the same size, yeah. Not a bad catch at all. We'll take it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed all these videos from Florida. I must say, going to Florida has been a great experience. Now, every time I go, I come by humble, man. Those big fish and grass are no joke. Mix them with lily pads here and there. But I do come back a better angler, and I'm getting better and better fishing in grass. And furthermore, I am still working on that frog bag, but I will get it. Now, this trip was a trip of many firsts for many people. Michael caught his first drop shot fish, Ted caught his first chatterbait fish, which I love the chatterbait, and I caught my first both in. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Now, this video is not over. I didn't catch any fish on this last trip. We only had about three hours, and it was a tough public lake. But hey, man, that's how it goes. But I do want to bring some action back to you guys. Right time I got back home in Georgia, I went straight after those bed fish. So let's jump in that video. Got one of them. Got one of these fish. One of these fish on bed wasn't the one I'm looking for. It's a big one down there. Man, that hook almost came out, man. I got it though. Let's release this tiny one and find the giant one. It's a big one down there. Got her, finally. Ugh. Finally got her, guys. She is peeing, and you can tell that means it's bedding season. Decent little bass, guys. She nipped at it three or four times, but I finally got her. Ugh. And she just threw the hook that quick. All right, let's get this fish released. I think she's probably about three pounds spun out bass. Well guys, that is officially a wrap. Be on the lookout for a couple new videos. I got some reviews to do. I got a crazy trip planned on the river. I know y'all not used to that from me, but it is coming soon. So, tight lines, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.